Hello and welcome to the big car park in the middle of Alloa again, around the back of the, uh, the town hall. Uh, another pretty lovely day, actually it's been lovely. Um, we're starting a little bit later than the last one, so hopefully we'll get some really nice light as the, uh, the light goes. But um, today, we're starting from Alloa, but we're going in the opposite direction. Um, so we're going to head out towards, uh, the bridge, towards Bridge of Allen and Dunblane. Um, and I'm going to take you on... It's, it's really varied, but it's really nice, good surfaces. This should be considerably cleaner than the uh, Clackman and Sherry 5 Tour. Um, but this will be, uh, should be a, a lovely wee ride. Um, and we've got everything in there. We've got hills, uh, we've got little bits of road, we've got paths. Um, but uh, but all good riding. So uh, let's not hang around, and uh, we'll go straight from here. I think. Okay, I'm going to start. Make like a pedestrian out on the path out here. And we're going to use the crossing here to get out. Go. And don't need to take Mickey, it's nice and quiet, so let's head out on the road. Just for a little bit. West End Park and we're heading, we're heading west today. And through Old Alloa and then down. into the farmland. Now you don't really want to watch loads of video of me riding through housing estates, not that there's a lot. So I'll meet you as we leave Alloa, which in real time will only about be about three or four minutes. So, joint use path all the way, which has been lovely. And, bizarrely for a Sunday, not too many people jointly using it. And we're now going to head out across the farm, possibly past the first coffee spot, if it's open today. Wouldn't blame her if it wasn't. And to canvas. This track, not that we're going to follow it that way. Oh, and the coffee shack is open. <laughs> I'm afraid we won't be stopping. 
anyway this track is part of the path network that heads out towards Stirling um, and also we're going to use some of that we're heading Stirling Woods we're not too Stirling today that's popular today and it utilizes some of the old railways and paths around here right make our way around here momentarily turning north there and you might be able to see the vehicles through the trees it's a nice thing about or oh, autumn winter late autumn winter and spring before the leaves are up you can actually see further so I see more of it but what I can see here is the Wallace Monument the National Wallace Monument to be correct almost straight in front of us I can see snow covered trussocks Ooh, proper snowy mountains there just to the right and further to the right to my and the yokels and dogs lots of dogs right anyway let's get ourselves to canvas so already past the first coffee spot just coming into Cara canvas Last thing in a second already. The inlet canvas, very nice, good food as well. well they'll do your coffee, but they'll also do your quality meal as well. Just guys looking everywhere. And the outflow of the Black Devon as it comes out. There you go, upstream all the way to Tilikoo Tree, the other way. Loads of dogs. And we are now round the back of the part of the. Oh, yeah. Oh, scooting round the loading bays of the whiskey distillery. Oh, yeah along the Black Devon which is today it's quite high it's a little bit browny green oh I tell you what I'm getting some proper fumage coming off the uh, distillery buildings <laughs> anyway this nice little trail will take us around and out to the old railway this place is dotted with old railways uh, it's a leftover from our industrial heritage and uh, one of the positives of our industrial heritage actually there was a lot let's face it we have to take that corner nice and carefully otherwise you end up skidding across the oh, across the cattle grids and through here just going to take it a little bit easy so we don't surprise too many walkers with dogs on whizzy leaves on the wrong side of the track and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks. Go up a little bit. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Oh, yeah, thanks. The remains, oh, good view of the opals from here, and the remains of one of the old ducats. They used to farm doves. There we go, onto the railway, 
and there we go headed straight for the Hillfoots villages and the Yokels. Oh, I've got a cough now, so uh, I'll turn off the camera and get some distance. See you in a bit. All right, now we're going to head parallel to the Yokels for a wee bit, rather than straight over to them for the purposes of hitting another cafe. Actually, technically, two, but you might not see the first one as a cafe, particularly, because it's actually a garage with a DIY Costa in it, but they sell cakes, they sell coffee. Who am I to turn my nose up? There we go. This is the old Alloa to Stirling Road. Known locally as the road to nowhere because it's disconnected. Oh yeah, thank you. That's lovely wee bridge over the river. And we're getting closer to the Wallace Monument, which is lovely. We know about, I think I'll get in first. Now this goes out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just need to make sure that we don't get mown over by somebody focused on getting some cheap petrol. Although I say cheap. Anyway, ooh, new gates. No rooms there, not too many here. Oh yeah. There we go. And we're away again. Back on the road to nowhere. There's a song about that. Anyway, again, not very exciting coming through here, so I'll just cruise away and I'll see you when we turn off this. See you in a bit. It's going to be a little bit remiss of me not to point out that we've, we're still on the road to nowhere. Unfortunately, it is parallel to the main road to Stirling, so it's still a little bit noisy. But very, very little traffic. Because uh, we've just passed one of the local farms that's uh, built some very nice cottages for rent. And in a second, you'll see how close we are to the Wallace Monument, which is on the outskirts of Stirling. And therefore, how close we are to Stirling within easy bike of the wonderful oh, Shire of Clyde Manor Shire right this is the nastiest bit of the whole thing can get a bit mad at times there we go and we are over as well as being the main road between Stirling and Allower, it also takes you into Fife and it's the traditional fish route from the Fife coastal villages and the fishing villages through to market in Glasgow. Uh, so uh, it looks quite innocuous but it can get a little bit busy at times. A lot less uh, traffic than it used to. They've got other alternatives now and they can use the motorway but still a bit of traffic. And uh, the reason why for one of the villages that you go through which has got a crossroads is called Fish Cross because that's where the fish crosses. Presumably they used to stop and unload for the market in Alawa on their way to Glasgow as well. Anyway, now we're heading towards the Oakles on another one of the very nice local walking and cycling friendly roads. Limits down to 20 for the cars. They should be reasonably well behaved. Should be. Although some of them will be a bit focused on where we're headed next. Which, what I like this is a big cross country route, but actually 
technically it's not too shoddy as a cafe route <laughs> anyway we're now heading and what you can see on the skyline there it is actually the uh, the skyline path onto Demaya and we're heading into an area called Mar well we're in an area called Manor Powys sounds a bit Welsh actually Britonic and there are little patches of Britonic and I don't know whether it's connected or not but we're also not far off riding straight towards a Roman camp up on the side of the Mayat and the Romans weren't always or Roman soldiers weren't always from Rome so who knows I'm sure somebody does but I don't there's a Roman campment up there and for those of you who like a bit of touring well it's great but also like a bit of gnarly mountain biking we're also looking at some of the gullies and routes straight down the front of the Yokels that are rideable a bit gorsy definitely want to have long trousers and gloves but definitely also rideable anyway down to 30 <laughs> good visibility though and now uh, these potholes will help people remember to slow down too climbing Right to go. Manor Powers, Farm Shop, and Cafe. Oh, yeah. yeah, Fred, we're not stopping there. We're heading over to the Hillfoots Road, which connects all the Hillfoots villages, so, Mount Street, Tullibody, Tillicutri. Not so much to everybody actually, but Tilly Coochie, Manage Street, Dollar, Alva. Alright. And what we should be able to do is pretty much get straight into the wee historic village of Blair Logie from here. which is lovely lovely little hamlet which has uh, deliberately not developed there we go to visit oh Blair Logie it actually has a little car park just past it and then you can walk into the village it's lovely unspoiled by too many massive trucks getting lost on people's driveways <laughs> and trying to follow footpaths which are ancient ways along the hill foot yeah this is the millennial path not a road anyway this is the most cross-country bit of the entire trail which is lovely and uh, coming up here's the bit where we might fluff it completely on this bike or not <laughs> there we go <laughs> we're gonna go with not by cheating and just pushing across Ooh. there we go plenty more opportunities for making an idiot out of myself towards the end Right, and you'll be able to see, no doubt, oh this is a bit boggy, you'll no doubt be able to see, 
was hoping for no mud. I was going to be clean this time. <laughs> Back to the sentence I started. You'll know about be able to see the Wallace Monument there. We're heading towards Bridge of Allen, as I said before. And we just need to get across this bit to get to Logie Kirk from Blair Logie. Which is lovely. Oh. Big old. <laughs> This is lovely. I might get a little bit overgrown towards the end just before we get to the kirk. But uh, all times of year, it's lovely coming through this open forest, which is actually at the back of a campsite. So if you want to come and camp in the area, technically we're in Stirlingshire, so this isn't Clackmanningshire anymore. We're not in Clackmanningshire anymore. But it's nice and close, nice campsite, a few facilities for kids. It's a nice place, and if you're on a budget, the top spot. Ooh, last bit of mud, hopefully. Actually, <laughs> I just thought about where we're going next. Maybe not the last bit of mud. There we go. Right, around the corner. Oh. Past the random kids trying, you know there's a gate to get into the cemetery guys. Past the cemetery. Oh yeah. Have you been doing big round trips around the local area, mine woods, uni woods, stuff like that? Then quite often folks will uh, actually stop here and start their ride here. Now you can kind of tell by the driving that tourist season has already started at the end of February. There we go, a little bit of road, tiny bit of road. You might be able to catch a glimpse, I'm not sure of the camera angle, of Witch's Craig, supposedly the last place that a witch was chucked off to see if she could fly or not. And if she could, she was definitely a witch. And if she couldn't, they're really sorry. And they'll give her a good burial. Which is a bit rubbish, really. It's kind of a lose-lose situation. But uh, allegedly, last place somebody was kicked off. Anyway, a little tarmac ride. Now this has been closed for quite a while, which I'm hoping, oh, it still is because it makes a really quiet road. But if it's not, it's still a really quiet road up onto Sheriff Muir, where we'll end up later on. And if you can see <laughs> my GPS, oh, it's just eased off a little bit, back to seven degrees and backing off in 7%. Anyway, it's a wee bit steep, but not very far. I'll catch you when we turn off at the university. There's somebody coming down. <laughs> so we're just finishing off coming past the old, I think that's the original Loki Kirk. There. Oh, hello. <laughs> And we're not taking that road, that goes up to Demayat. We are facing what is known locally as University Woods, Uni Woods. Top spot for better cross country and some plummeting. And we're going to take this track, which will take us into Bridge of Allen, avoiding almost all of the roads into 
until we get right around the back. And actually avoiding all the roads, the major roads, if they're not blocked. <laughs> anyway, slight climb, but nothing too horrendous. Well, soon, well, this wall on the left is actually the uh, top end of the estate for Stirling University. Straight down behind Uni Woods. Best place for it, really. It's less confusing that way. Anyway, let's make our way along here. Turn right, that will take me up onto Sheriff Muir and, whew, and right up onto the uh, up onto Demayat. There, sort of taking a different way. Staying low for now. We're going up there in a bit. Enough <laughs> images. soon as we can to hunt the bottom of the hills. It's not really about inspection of real estate. Or pothole dodging. Anyway. Now we could head up. because we are doing the unofficial tour of the cafes so we've got our back to what's now Minewood Thank you. I look right on you. Nah. Little descent puts us right down here amongst multi, multi cafes. And I haven't eaten in the Allen Water Cafe for a long time. There's always a massive queue at fish and chip time, so it must be pretty good. We're only here here briefly though. And then we're going to head up again.
just before we cross the Allen Water. actually my mistake I should have signaled earlier on anyway we're now beside the lovely Allen water and heading up through the slightly more modern bit still pretty posh the slightly more modern bit the bridge of Allen and there's gonna be a lot of heavy breathing because this is a bit steep to get us up so I think I might just once I've been past here leave you but just to point out the path that Alan Walk will actually take you along the Allen Water which is really nice if you're into a nice little walk along the river goes all the way to Dumblay or that across country oh, it's quite gnarly at times and it's start down that step there on the darn walk blimey that's talking more use of gears oh. Keep turning left, we're on the cycle route 765, which I believe was the road that went most direct between Bridge of Allen and Dumblane, but uh, it's closed to vehicular traffic now. We've got it to ourselves. Nice surface, still climbing, and the river's way down to our left down there. And uh, some of the paths that connect to the Darn Walk following the river are coming up here from the left a little bit now. <clears throat> Beautiful woodland, a lovely, lovely light. Oh, yeah. oh. Go. Nothing vehicular at all, just need to watch out for errant, errant gravel easters doing lightning speed coming down all the way from Sheriff Muir. It's a wee bit of a grind, but you couldn't really ask for a better, better surface as we go up. Ooh. Lovely. And this will take us out onto the bottom of Sheriff Muir. And back onto gravel. After a little little tarmac interlude. Well we're on tarmac now, a little road interlude. Oh. around the derailleur really. <sighs> We're off and on to gravel. Oh, glorious gravel. Thank you. 
down here. 